Hello, it's Frank, that one web guy, and I'm back with another video. In this video, I'm going to tell you how to add an emoji in your email subject line. Now, I know this is kind of a, a why would you want to type of thing, but you know, we have to think outside the box. You know, we have to think of, you know, what gets emails opened. You know, that's harder and harder to do these days. So, what makes your email stand out? What makes you stand out? You know, so what what makes it different? So, I've been testing some things with uh, some different emojis and try to get you know, I've caught myself looking at when I get my email and say, hey, you know, that's got a, you know, that, that caught my eye. You know, what, why is that? And I noticed it was because there was an emoji. It stood out different than the other emails that were there. So today I'm going to show you how easy that is actually to do. So I'm going to look into my autoresponder service that I have up here on my screen. And I'm going to show you, you can see on the screen that I have my email subject. So maybe I want to put uh, something like, how did he do it? Well, that's pretty plain, as you can see. There's nothing there. So what I can do, there's a service that I've been using called Emojipedia. I know that's kind of a, a kind of a long word there or a hard URL, but it's called Emojipedia.org. And what it allows you to do is it allows you to search for an emoji. So like if I want to put a question, you know, because I'm asking how did he do it. So I put question and it says question mark or I could put a thinking face or something like that. This time I'm going to try a question mark. So what I can do is I can click the copy right here. It's copied to my clipboard. I can just come over here and put my cursor in that spot. Click Control V on my keyboard, or I could right click and paste if I chose, uh, whichever is easier for you. That's Command V if you're on a Mac. Con Control V if you're on a PC. And then once I have my subject, I can hit continue and then go on to send my email. It's as simple as that. So when that email goes out, uh, you will see something similar to these messages here. You know, I've tried it in front. I've tried it in back. I've actually tried it in the email itself. Um, and it just seems to me to catch some eye. I'm still working on numbers to see how the conversions are. But I know for me, if it triggers my eye, it may trigger your customer's eye and makes you stand out to be what's different. So I hope you found this useful. And I'll be back with another video on another tip for you for your website or your business. Thanks and have a great day.